He treats choreography as an adventure, and he expects his dancers and audiences to redefine their views on dance. His priority is how you speak with the language, not what you say. I've been staging Bill's work for 20 years now, and really since the day I met him, I've been inspired by how he approaches artistic practice and dance and choreography, but really life. He's infinitely curious. Bill challenges the conventions and assumptions about what ballet is, or what dance is supposed to and should be. I met Bill in 1984. The plan was that I would only dance for one year with the Frankfurt Ballet underneath this new guy, this crazy American. Fast forward years later, I ended up staying with Bill and continued to work with him until this very day. I think people sometimes come into to dance in general, not just Bill's work, but into much contemporary dance but in particular, feeling like they don't really get it or they don't have some information or knowledge, prior knowledge, that would help them decode it in some way. The trick is to absorb it as a visual spectacle, a kinetic spectacle, to remember that ballet is always there, it always underpins the work, even when it doesn't really look much like ballet. So the principles, physical principles, are always in the bodies of those dancers. In a way, I think the experience of watching Bill's work is a bit more like going to a contemporary art show. You may have no idea what the artist intended or wanted, but there's a rich experiential quality to it. More like poetry, perhaps, or abstract sculpture. It's, it's incredibly layered, dense, associative, and rich. His ability to distill ideas through the practice of choreography, really using the world as inspiration, is constantly shifting and changing based on the beautiful dancers in the room, like here at Boston Ballet. Something I think a lot about as an educator is how dance can cultivate the idea of close looking at things, at life, at the art form, but also outside of it. And I think Bill has opened up the field in a way to propose different ways of seeing, conceiving of, presenting work. And that's both for the people in the practice, but also for the exchange with an audience to offer an opportunity for them to participate actively in the work as opposed to being passive spectators. Bill had deconstructed ballet in, in, in many ways. Not that he didn't ever use recognizable classroom steps, but he combined them often in ways that were extremely unexpected. I first saw his work in Paris, and I saw a ballet that the San Francisco Ballet presented at the Théâtre Champs-Élysées called New Sleep. I was completely um, blown away by it. From that moment on, I was fascinated by him, by his work, wanted to find out more. We were always just taught to be curious about everything. And I think he's constantly growing. I mean, that's an incredible thing I often find about Bill. He's very, very present. I often say he is truly my creative father in that way. And that's kind of the way you want to do things, because who wants to sit back and just like, you know, passively watch their, you know, their lives go by. And he's kind of the champion of that. I'm always looking forward to seeing what he's going to be doing next. And hopefully I'm always a part of that too.